Hello and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over Bitcoin, how I have and still am trading that, going over some of the targets that I am looking for as well as Icon, ICX, up today about 40%. That coin has been an absolute joy to trade over the last few weeks which I have participated in fully so I'll be giving you my thoughts on that trade as well. But starting here with Bitcoin and how this is currently performing, okay? So before I go into how it is actually going right now, let's take a look on the bigger picture, always important to just appreciate the resistance that we are at okay so we're obviously at the resistance of the weekly okay 9600 more or less where that was the old floor of support flipped into resistance here and now you're back at that resistance so it's not one to forget about because it's a very big resistance indeed okay obviously being 9600 what we can do is if we zoom in here i just want to discuss briefly the importance of uh timing timing positions because let's say back on the 2nd of february while price was sat at 9500 OK, you could have shorted expecting lower prices and we can all agree if you shorted 9,500 expecting lower prices, you got the direction correct. Price has gone down lower. But guess what? People can get their directional bias correct. But if you do not time your entry, you will lose your trade. And that is because very likely anybody that shorted here would have had their stops above the last high because that would be their invalidation. And this is where timing comes into play because you can well have good got the direction correct but if you do not time the entry correctly you will lose money and this was uh you've probably all seen the prediction because it was uh, i have kind of put it out there because it was a very nice one indeed but you know this is not so much the prediction that i want to cover here but it's also the the uh my thought process that goes behind it and this was a nice encapsulation of what i was thinking bit really um, as highlighted by Tom in the group, that, um, you know, what my idea was that everybody was looking for the uh, head and shoulders, obviously the bearish head and shoulders here, or we had the left shoulder, left shoulder head, then they th everyone thought this was the right shoulder and we were just going to head straight back down. So you had the combination of that as well as people looking at the diamond patterns, uh, you know, just a lot of bearish patterns that were going on. But what my prediction obviously being was that we would get this bearish uh, shark harmonic to wipe out all the shorts first and then move down in price. Um, <laughs> and guess what? That, that must be 99.98 now after another great prediction because that is exactly what we got. And this is what, uh, I, you know, I will highlight once again being Fibonacci time uh, that when I was looking at this high to be made. I was looking at 1 a.m. Uh, you know, 1 a.m. being the 1618 Fibonacci time extension. So that was the bearish shark harmonic that I was after. And we absolutely got it. OK, we got that to the exact hour. Uh, and this is what I'm just very proud about that, uh, you know, if we fell down here, I could say that I timed uh, the exact hour or predicted the exact hour that we would fall down uh, or, you know, make that high. And so far, it has played out correctly. Uh, we did get the move up past and swing failure to high at the exact hour 1 a.m. So that is very nice indeed. Uh, obviously, we have fell down in price. OK, so that's uh, all well and good. Now, that's this one has played out. If you're trading the shark harmonic, you would have already hit take profit one and take profit two being the lows here. So that has actually now completed. So uh, with that in mind, you know, the, the target of the shark has been hit. OK, I am still in my, my short because at the moment I am playing uh, cautiously on the long side. OK, I feel that I'm in a comfortable short now, obviously stops in profits and I have no reason to try and exactly time the low. Although I am very much aware we are hitting a support region. Um, but let me just you know throw a few things oh yeah this was the this was uh what i covered in the live stream by the way so that was all explained in a live stream exactly how i was trading it uh, i was accumulating longs because i was expecting this high to be taken we did take the high and i was trading that from a long into then closing the long and going into a short and that's still the short i have open uh from the swing failure pattern of the high so yeah that's what i mean like my my short is in a very comfortable position i have um you know quite a net on it now so that was uh very nice indeed to see that shout out to the champions who saw that live that prediction because it was very nice indeed um so um yeah then so that leads me on to like how i'm managing my trade at the moment i am trading stop losses at the moment i feel that, uh, you know for me the the big level is 9420 and while we remain below 9420 um you are obviously in, in a bit more bearish market structure on the very short term, what we can see is this floor here around 9,250. So you have 9,250, you start claiming that, then you would be then looking up towards the push of 9,420, 9,350. Um, so you've got some like pretty key resistances there. 
what you could add in is very simply, uh, you know, put on like look for a 382 Fibonacci level, for example, from the high to the low. And that's coming in also around 9285. OK, so this is the floor that you want to try and claim for a, you know, to, to really get aggressive on longs, because I feel at the moment you are kind of knife catching, essentially, uh, although a, you know, it's 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 a knife catch where, you know, it's not so much now. There is a little bit more support holding, but I would be more than, you know, comfortable to wait for the next four hour close uh, before I try and time the low per se. And what I am aware of, though, is that you are coming up to some nice Fibonacci uh, time supports. OK, so this is in the form of a fan. Uh, and what I will put you put out here is that that's looking for a support at around, you know, 9,080 down to around 9,900. OK. But what I find really interesting is if I change the pivot from the actual high to what our first high was, okay, you can see that we are actually, oops, didn't click, you can see that we are actually on the 618 uh, Fibonacci time uh, fan. So that for me is a really, really, really interesting pivot. OK, but if I do just adjust it slightly, just for if we get this continuation, oh, my God, if we do get this continuation to the downside and, you know, just because I'm, I'm not being so aggressive on the longs currently, uh, I will be aggressive on a long, but currently I'm not. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I'm keeping this in mind. We could drop down a little bit further here, to be honest with you. You can see the amount of aggressive cells coming in here, though, like really, really, really big aggressive cells at the lows is generally a good sign that we can actually get some form of a short squeeze up before. Obviously, uh, you know, the short squeeze up doesn't necessarily mean you then have to go back down. But um, it's something to bear in mind. It doesn't mean that you just have to go straight up on a short squeeze, but you could like short, the short uh, squeeze the shorts and uh, then, you know, head back down again. But I am aware of the very, very aggressive selling that is happening right now. We have seen over 100 million at market being sold, which is very aggressive on the short side. Uh, and obviously, if you start reclaiming some of these supports and you get a lot of trap traders, uh, which can, you know, give you that short squeeze, essentially. So um, I must say then on more of the mid term time frames, I'm looking for around 8,880, uh, you know, down to around 8,650 for a low of support. OK, that would obviously coincide more or less with the middle of the channel, which is about 8,700. OK, so 8,650 low of the support. 8,890, uh, sort of the 8,900 higher the support. Um, so I'm playing it very much level to level. Um is basically how I am viewing this. So I'm, you know, I am midterm bullish. I am in a short position right now and I'm just trading this short very conservatively. OK, I don't feel like I want to exactly time the exact low. Maybe I will try and time this potentially if we hold support and reclaim that in within one hour 53 and get a nice bullish four hour close. So I will happily wait for the confirmation of this close, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that's exactly what I would do, to be honest. Uh, you can see in the last four hour cycle that we had uh, 95 million at market. So th there's definitely heavy shorts coming in here. 95, then we're on this this rotation. We're on 29 million. It's just heavy selling. Uh, you can see here some of the, well, I guess orders are stacking up here around 9K. So you got some stacking at 9K. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. And then I wanted to cover Icon uh, briefly for you. This one has just been insane, absolutely insane. As you all know, I have actually been trading, as I mentioned before in a video a few days ago, I was, I've been trading this from the very lows at the weekly. And that, from that weekly to the 6.6, six, which we hit up here, is 340%. Um, so, yeah, I've been trading this very, very well indeed. And literally, I've been kind of like, I'll show you some of the updates I've given to my group because I'm like so happy to shield this coin because... Uh, this was like, for instance, the one yesterday uh, where I was, I've been saying Icon is literally a gold mine. Literally, it's so, it's so easy to trade. It's so easy to trade. That was obviously yesterday. I've been, you know, just putting this out before this. And I, in all my updates recently, I've been mentioning ICX and just how they have been gold mines, the altcoins, to be honest. Um, and it all started from the very low of the weekly. And it's just been going up and up and up and up. And obviously today, up another 50 well, from the high, it was about 50%. Now 36% from reclaiming that daily. It's just uh, incredible how well this coin has performed. All I must stress is that I am... I do believe we can push higher, but all I'm aware is that when uh, Twitter starts shilling the alts that I've been trading, it's generally a sign that it's topping out, okay? Uh, this has happened, uh, you know, on many coins. On the altcoins I trade, I always will trade an altcoin before it gets exposure. So I'm always accumulating at the lows, or the way I like to trade alts is at the lows while nobody's interested in it. And then suddenly when it gets exposure, everybody starts talking about it. That is when I very much so become cautious in that particular altcoin. It's happened time and time and time again. 
and the last one I remember very clearly was was Theta actually. Uh, and it, you know, it's, it's the same cycle uh, when it starts getting big exposure, which Icon has now got after this move up today. In particular, being number one on Binance, I feel as uh, I just have to be a little bit cautious. Although I still do love to set up and, and do believe we can move up higher, but it's just it brings a little bit of caution into me when everybody starts trying to trade it. To be honest with you, um, but yeah. That is my viewpoint on uh, just just how well uh, you, you just getting into these moves early, recognizing the signs, recognizing the accumulation. You can just uh, absolutely make a, a killing, absolute killing on somebody else. They are brilliant, um, and that's all occurred while obviously Bitcoin ultimately is in a sideways range. So. We ultimately are at the bottom of the range. So, you know, one would have to argue that if anything, this is a better long. You know, I definitely wouldn't uh, open a new short here, to be honest. But if anything, it's a better long uh, because you are at the bottom of the range. And if you're still range bound, then you can expect this to come to the top of the range. Obviously, being a range sideways like this. OK, so, yeah, I am just uh, closing words, obviously, in a short. Uh, maybe I will flip long in one hour 50 as long as we can see some, uh, you know, a few metrics come together. But at the uh, at the time of speaking, I'm in a short. Um, but this is looking pretty nice. I would, so if we can claim one 9150, I think 9153 actually is the monthly exactly. So it looks like we are back testing that monthly level. I haven't got them all wrote on the chart, but uh, oh, I guess I can just put it on really quickly. So yeah, 9153.5 cents. So you're literally back testing that. So that would be interesting how this back test goes. And I kind of want to monitor and trade that if I'm honest. So I'm going to wrap up the video because I very much do want to go and trade this now. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you can see these skills, absolute skills that come into play on this harmonic right here. Absolute perfection to time the high, not only just predict where price was going, but also to predict the exact hour price would turn around i think that is like prediction and not just a prediction because i actually put money on the line actually traded it very well indeed very profitable trade um is like just amazing to be honest and uh, <laughs> yeah that was a very 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 nice trade indeed and uh yeah let's see how this monthly back test goes hope that you've enjoyed this update it has been you know i feel it's been quite thorough um and yeah that's just uh i give a thorough update here because i just want to say thank you so much everybody once again thank you for the support that you've all shown me um and here's to a very good 2020 um long may everything continue as it is it's just going very well indeed uh thank you once again and have a brilliant day cheers bye